Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to go over installing Next Term on Dockage. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'll be installing today on Dockage Next Term. It's an open source server management software for SSH, VNC, and RDP. Um, it is an open preview right now, so that means things will change with it. Um, so that's what I'll be installing today. I'm going to be going over the Docker Compose next. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to go over the search and type Next Term. And then you'll see how to install next term on dockage right here. So I'm going to click it. And then I'm going to go in the Docker Compose. So I'm going to set services up here. And then the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear Next Term. And then the container name is going to be called Big Bear Next Term. And this is so Docker doesn't have to generate a random name. And then I'm going to go to the image right here. So now this will be um, uh, pulled off of Docker Hub by default because there's no year before this. And this is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. And then the container restart policy is set to unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it'll try to restart. And then I'm going to set volumes down here. So this makes it to where if you have volume, it actually saves the data. So, so if you restart the container, uh, it won't get rid of your data, and it'll remount it on your contain container. Um, so this makes it to where uh, the c containers can hold data with still being stateless. Mm -hmm. So um, now the volumes down here. So on the host side is Big Bear Next Term Data. And this is a local volume that's defined down here. And then on the container side is app data. And then now ports right here, so 6989, that's on the host side. And then on the container side is 6989. So do not change the container side, but if you have to change the host side, you can. And if it, if, if there is a collision a conflict uh, on starting this port on your host, you can change it to like 6990. Um, so uh, now networks down here. So Big Bear Next Term Network, and that's defined right here. So um, now that's a little bit about the Docker Compose. So I'm going to go over here to copy roll file. I'm going to click it, and then I'm going to go over to my dockage and get the setup installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, now I'm going to start on my dockage, and I'm going to go over here to the Compose, and then Stack Name, which ne ne next term. And then um, I'm going to come over here to the editor, and I'm going to paste in what I explained over Big Bear Video, uh, video Assets. And then um, now once we do that, uh, we can also see it in the UI over here. So you can make changes over here and the editor. So I'm going to go uh, over here and deploy the changes. Click it. Uh, what that done is it downloaded the Docker image off the registry, got it extracted, got it up with Docker Compose underneath, which is in turn using the Docker engine. Um, it also uh, set up the network and the volume and the ports. Um, so uh, that's all set up, and it says ser server listening on the port, so it's good to go. So now I'm on my dockage right here. So on the home screen, you'll see active stacks, X is stacks, and inactive stacks. And then you can come over here to your stack next term, and you can see actions up here, so edit restart update and this updates the current tag it doesn't change the tag so it's not going to change this tag um it'll just re-pull the changes off the registry um so stop 
stop an inactive, and then delete the stack completely. Now you can see the containers in the stack down here, and you can also see the port that uh, the container is using. So, so you can click here and go to the UI. You can go into the bash right here, and if your uh, a container doesn't support bash, you can go to sh, and then ls, and you're inside the container. So if you go back to next term, you can see a console down here. So, so, so you can see the logs, and this is great for debugging. You can see a read-only version of the Docker Compose over here. Uh, but if you want to edit this Docker Compose, you can go up here to the Edit button. And now you're in the Edit screen, so you can see that you can add a container, which this will add a service underneath the services. So I'm going to just say Nginx and then Add Container. Now it adds it over here in the UI, and you can edit, and you can add a image to it. And then if you notice over here in the editor, it added it right here, and it's underneath the services. Um, so that's a quick way of adding a service. Uh, so you can uh, delete this. Uh, you can co come up here, and you can edit your current one. And then if you edit anything over here in the UI, it changes over in the editor. Um, so you can uh, add URLs. You can set environment variables. You can uh, set the network, so internal and external. And then you can come up here to the actions. You can deploy, uh, de uh, deploy the changes. You can save the changes. You can stop an inactive and then discard the changes. So I'm going to discard the changes. So that's a little bit about the uh, dockage UI. So now we're going to go into the UI. Um, so you can go over here to next term, and then you can go to the port right here, and you can click it. And now it's going to have you register. So I'm going to just say big bear, and then big bear for the username, and then a password. So now I'm going to register, and now I'm in there. Um, so I'm going to, uh, see that there's a sidebar over here. So you can go to the uh, settings, you can go to your account and the first name and last name, two factor authentication, you can enable, you can change your password and, um, you can see the sessions and then users down here. So, um, you can change your password right here and you can also create a new user. Um, you can come over here to the uh, servers and um, you can right click and you can create a new folder and then I'm going to just say testing servers and then now we have a folder so we can right click again and you can create another folder, delete folder or rename and you can create a server and you can import a PVE. So I'm going to cre create a server. So um, you can put your server name in, so testing server and then a server IP, and then um, the port 22, and then the protocol, you can pick between SSH, RDP, and VNC, the icon, um, the identity, so um, you can come over here to settings, it's not implemented yet, so you can go back to identities, and you can put a username in and a password in, And then you can also pick between a key file and a password. So now I'm going to say create. And now we have our testing server over here. So you can click it. You can double click it. So now we're in there and you can clear it and you can see what's in it. Um, so you can see it's running Docker and um, you can uh, exit out of there completely. You can go back into it and uh, you can exit out of it. You can go ahead and go into the packages over here, the app store, and you can install Git T, a uh, MySpeed, and then next term, and then Uptime Kuma. Um, so you can say you want to deploy the Uptime Kuma to the testing server, you can do that. And then now over here, uh, you'll see that it's uh, installing it over here. So I download a base image and then run pre-install command. You can also see the logs right here of what it's doing. So the installation is finished. So you can exit out of there. And um, you can open it up right here. So now this is, uh, this is running on that testing server. And you can exit out of there. Um, so these are the categories. So networking, uh, media, cloud, development, and utilities. 
um, you can log out down here. So this is a really handy tool to keep up with your servers. So I just went over start to finish on getting next term working on dockage. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.